A novel method has been suggested by researchers to determine the moment when babies attain consciousness. Greetings, everyone. Today, we will be delving into a fascinating topic regarding the identification of consciousness in infants. Researchers from the esteemed University of Birmingham have put forth a fresh approach in this area. Their method involves pinpointing indicators of consciousness in adults and then observing when babies begin to exhibit a higher number of these markers during their development. The researchers emphasize the importance of considering a wide array of markers, spanning both early and late stages of development. Furthermore, they advocate for the exploration of various developmental models to understand the onset of consciousness in human infancy. It is evident that determining the emergence of consciousness in babies is not a straightforward task. With that said, let us now dive into our discussion without any further delay. At what point in the process of human development does consciousness emerge? When confronted with inquiries regarding infant consciousness, René Descartes, a philosopher from the 17th century, proposed that infants may possess thoughts, albeit less complex than those of adults. Even after centuries have passed, the question of when consciousness arises in human beings continues to perplex both psychologists and philosophers. In light of a recent publication in Trends in Cognitive Sciences, two scholars from the University of Birmingham have proposed a more effective approach to assist scientists and researchers in recognizing the point at which infants attain consciousness. Dr. Henry Taylor, an associate professor of philosophy, and Professor Andrew Bremner, a renowned expert in developmental psychology, have recently published a letter to the editor in Trends in Cognitive Sciences. Within their publication, they have introduced a novel approach that aims to identify markers of consciousness in adults and track the developmental progress of babies as they begin to exhibit an increased number of these markers. According to Dr. Taylor, consider this scenario. In adults, there exists a particular behavior or pattern of brain activity that consistently accompanies consciousness. If we can pinpoint the occurrence of this behavior or brain activity in infants, we can reasonably conclude that this is when consciousness begins to develop in babies. These behaviors and brain activations are referred to as markers of consciousness. The significance of this approach cannot be overstated as it addresses a critical challenge. The inability of babies to articulate their conscious experiences, unlike adults. Professor Bremner emphasizes the difficulty in determining when infants attain consciousness, primarily due to their inability to communicate their experiences and their tendency to resist participation in experimental tasks, as many parents are well aware. Since direct questioning is not feasible, the most effective strategy is to identify various indicators of consciousness that manifest in both early and late stages of development and analyze them collectively. This comprehensive approach holds the potential to shed light on the emergence of consciousness in infants. Preferent Tim Bain and his colleagues proposed four distinct indicators of consciousness in their recent article, with certain markers appearing during the later stages of gestation and others manifesting in early infancy. Consequently, the study posits that consciousness begins to develop at an early stage, specifically during the final trimester of prenatal development. However, Professor Bremner and Dr. Taylor argue that this perspective fails to acknowledge additional indicators of consciousness. Previous studies have uncovered a distinct set of indicators, which encompass the following. Directing, redirecting a social companion's focus towards an item and verifying. Purposeful management, purposeful coordination of actions to achieve a specific goal, for example, pulling a lever to retrieve a distant object. Conscious recollection, recreating and imitating actions observed at a later time. According to Dr. Taylor, the emergence of consciousness is a complex matter due to the lack of consensus among various markers. While some markers, as mentioned by Bain and colleagues, indicate that consciousness may arise between the third trimester of pregnancy and early infancy, others suggest that it may not develop until around one year of age. In fact, certain markers only become apparent at the age of three, four years. The abundance of different markers throughout early and late development makes it exceedingly difficult to reach a definitive conclusion. 
In his conclusion, Professor Bremner suggests the necessity of adopting a comprehensive perspective on markers, encompassing both early and late stages. He also advises considering various developmental models regarding the onset of consciousness. It is possible that certain markers may emerge in one cluster during early development, while others appear in a later cluster. Additionally, there may be a gradual and continuous emergence of specific markers throughout gestation and early life. Proposing an innovative approach, academics aim to unravel the age-old question that has perplexed humanity for millennia. When does consciousness emerge in human infancy? By consolidating a diverse range of markers, they hope to find a conclusive answer. However, it is crucial to acknowledge that the solution may not be easily discernible. To support our channel's growth and ensure broader awareness, kindly hit the like and subscribe buttons. This will help us reach more individuals and disseminate valuable information. Thank you in advance.